So this is the Tinkerbell one. Hey guys, I should tell you from Two Hearts and Roof. Thanks for clicking on this video. I am currently away in London, having probably an awesome time with my best friend Heather. But that means I am not able to edit daily vlogs for you guys for a few days. That's why I thought I would sit down today and I would show you guys our new Christmas decorations. I know you've seen my Christmas tree. My Christmas tree was new this year um, and it is beautiful and I'm well chuffed. And my new star for this year as well, which I haven't taken off the tree because it was a bit of a pain to put on the tree. But I have collected some of the other new items not from Lidl's, it was just the easiest way for me to bring them upstairs. Um, so I thought I would just kind of show you guys some of our new Christmas decorations as a mini Christmas decoration haul. So these are all the ones that I bought for this year. First, oh, just carrying something else there. A nutcracker, nutcracker. This little guy came from Home Sense. He was 12 99 I think. Um, I love nutcrackers, but my mum never liked them, so we weren't really, uh, we didn't have nutcrackers in our house. But I love him, look how cute he is. And he's all glittery too. Um, I actually think I might go and buy a second one now, because I feel like you need a pair of them. So yeah, there is him. Next, now my sister managed to pick these up. I haven't had a chance to get to Primark recently. Um, but my sister went and I was like, please see if they've got any of the Disney baubles in because I want some. And she managed to pick me up a few. So this is the Tinkerbell one. They are quite big, as you can see in my hand. They're pretty big baubles, uh, but it's full of glitter. Full of little green glitter. Uh, they are £5 each, so they, are, they aren't cheap. But they are quite a big size and they are beautiful. So this one says, be our guest. And it's obviously the Beauty and the Beast one. I actually like that they're big. They look really good on the tree. So yeah. And then the last one she got us is the Harry Potter Hogwarts one, which has got like, uh, like big bits of silver glitter in it so I got those I would have liked some of the other ones but there weren't any others left now I haven't brought all of these up but I last Christmas I really really wanted the Nightmare Before Christmas bauble set but it's £20 <laughs> for six baubles and I was like oh it's kind of a lot of money for six baubles so I waited to see if they came down after Christmas and they didn't, and I was gutted. So this year, I was Emma and Aaron and John was just like, you love Nightmare Before Christmas, just get them. And I was like, all right then, okay, I'll just go get them. So I haven't got all six with me, the other three are still on the tree, but I have bought up three of them. So there's Jack Skellington. Boogie Boogie Man. Oh, and then there's like, <laughs> so it does come as a pack of six there is another one that's got the face on it but is white with a black face there is an orange bauble with something on it and then there is um oh, name's passed me the, the the female character who i can't remember the name of right now rather weirdly they are from the Disney shop themselves if you do want to go get them. And they had some really beautiful other ones there. Um, but these are only plastic. The other ones were like ceramic. And I'm slightly conscious with Elian this year that he might destroy anything or drop it. or yeah. So I didn't buy any of the other beautiful ones. And then I went and bought a ceramic fox. Of course, that makes sense. So we got this rose gold like almost like geometric-y kind of looking fox um, from Wyville. They had big statue versions of it as well that were really beautiful, but at the time we didn't have anywhere to put it. But I'm contemplating getting one for my new um, sit-down setup that's going to be done in the office. I might have to go back and see if I can get it. 
Um, I think that was five pound that one was. Then I got this. It's like proper sparkly reindeer. This is from the range. I just loved it. I have a real thing for reindeers. I absolutely love reindeers. Um, I'd have my entire tree covered in reindeers if John would let me, but he won't. But it's quite big. Again, you can see that is quite a large decoration. Um, that was, I think it was £4, 3 99 from the range. I love it. Beautiful. Okay, next is actually one my mum bought us. I don't know where she had it from. To be honest, not a clue where she had it. But it's like, um, it's like a little... He's almost like ply board, I'm presuming. The little fox. It's really cute. It's really light as well, so it's not heavy on the tree. Um, but yeah, just a little fox. I don't know where she had that one from. I was gifted it from her. Right, and then the last two sets I've got here are handmade ones. And that's why I haven't done this video yet, because I was waiting for one of these to arrive. I didn't want to do the video without it, so... First step is these. That one says Daddy. That one says Mommy. Little penguin on. Uh, this one says Elliot. And this one says Opie. <laughs> so I had these from a local woman who runs a company called Tea for Two. So she makes these with the little scrabble tiles and the little toppers. So you can choose whatever topper you want and then probably obviously get whatever name. Um, I will put her link in the box below. I am all about supporting handmade and local small businesses when I can, being a local small business ourselves. Um, so yeah, when I saw these, I saw them on Facebook, a friend had had them made and I was like, I really want some. So I had these made. Um, I think they were... They were something like only three fifty or four pound each, something like that. So yeah, and I love them. They're beautiful. They're so nice. And then these were the ones I was waiting on. Um, my friend Louise runs. Oh, young folk. I just had a total blip. What her company's actually called? Let me check. <laughs> uh, Young folk clothing and accessories. I was right the first time. Whew. Um, I have had hair bows, big hair bows made by her before that you might have seen. I actually think it was last Christmas that I had my first set of hair bows from her. And I love them. Absolutely love them. These big hair bows with like made of like a glittery fabric um, that I wear quite often. Actually, I'm surprised I'm not wearing one now. Um, so... I had Christmas ones made. I had a red and a gold one and then a white one for Elian's christening. Um, so this year she brought out this range of Christmas decorations that are little elves and I just loved them so much that I had her make us a set of three. I also had her make Nana and Grandpa and um, Auntie Bridie and Uncle Andrew as well. So there is a full cross family made <laughs> of these guys. Look how cute they are! So these were what I wait, was waiting on to make this video. So there's John. Look. She even put a little goatee on him for me. <laughs> and then there is me. Same mummy. And then there's a little boy one for Elian. How adorable are they? They're so stinking adorable. I will make sure I put her link in the box below. You're gonna, you're gonna be a bit too late to make it for Christmas, I would have thought. She'd be pushing it to try and turn it out for Christmas time. Um, but she does lots of other like personalized key rings that would be great for birthdays, or she does the hair accessories and things like that. So please go check her out. Especially if you're local to South Wales, especially, but obviously she does post as well anyway, so the link will be in the box below. So that's all my new Christmas decorations that we've had for this year, guys. Don't forget to give us a nice big thumbs up, hit subscribe to join the Two Hearts family, 
Leave me a comment, tell me about your Christmas decorations. Do you go for colour coordinated tree? Are you very much about handmade items? Do you have lots of like items that your kids have handmade on the tree? Do you like to just have baubles or is it kind of like a free for all, everything goes? Everything goes on our tree these days. It used to very much be black, red and silver, because um, I like black stuff. It used to be black, red and silver, but as the years have gone on, other people have bought us decorations and the colour spectrum has now evolved. So as you can see, there's a bit of everything this year. Okay guys, I love you and I will see you guys again soon. Bye!